More rain today in Oxford, Mississippi, but for now, it looks like Mother Nature is going to cooperate as we get set for game number two between Mississippi State and Ole Miss from Oxford University Stadium at Swayze Field. Currently, SEC Western Division standings. LSU gets a win today over Arkansas. Razorbacks take two of three, so Mississippi State one back in the loss column. Ole Miss two back in the loss column behind the Razorbacks. Well, making his 10th start here, McKenzie's really worked off that fastball, 88 to 92 miles an hour. He does have a good off-speed pitch, low 80s breaking ball, really tough on left-handers. In Knoxville against Tennessee. My ball to center, Josh Hall will backpedal into the warning track and make the catch, deepest part of the ballpark. 1-1 one, one pitch, Keenan has that one drop in between the outfielders, and then it gets by Mangum, and now Keenan trying to hustle to second. He'll get in with what I assume is going to be scored a double. I don't think Mangum ever touched it, had his feet kind of go out from under him, and then the ball skidded past him. Not has been established yet. This ball lifted into the right center field gap. That's a base hit. Keenan comes around to score. Thomas Dillard going to slam on the brakes at third, then a back throw. They tried to back pick him as he took a pretty aggressive turn, an RBI single in a hitter's count for Cole Zabowski. This ball is lined into center field. It'll fall in front of Mangum. Another run comes home to score, and then it gets by Mangum and allows Zabowski to go first to third. Full count from Nikhazy. In the dirt, run comes home to score. Good at bat for Westberg. Now two to one as Skelton comes home. Halter goes to third, Gilbert to second, and Westberg picks up his 48th RBI of the year with the full count walk. Check swing. Nikhazy comes home for one to first in time for the double play. What you've done, what your opponent has done, what your opponent's opponents have done. Another 2-2 pitch, chopper up the middle, chance for two, right on top of the bag. There's a double play, but a run comes home to score, and we are tied at two. This time Zabowski lays off, gets to the backstop, run comes home. Full count, ball put in play with the shortstop covering, and it works to perfection. A hit and run, and Ole Miss has runners at the corners. Round ball right side. Mississippi State going to try to turn two. No chance. Run comes home to score. They get the lead runner at second base. Kevin Graham scores the run. New pitcher in the game for Ole Miss. Night is not done for Doug Nikhazy. Austin Miller, 25th appearance of the season. He's 4-0, 209 earned run average, 48 strikeouts, 13 walks. Ball hit into center field. Josh Hall on the run, reaches up, it's over his head, and then kicks way off the wall. Dustin Skelton got a late jump, but he'll be able to score without a throw. And it's now a one-run ball game. Mangum ahead in the count, two and one. And he hits it past the first baseman, Kevin Graham. Gunner Halter comes around to score. We are tied at four. Ball gets away, and that allows Mangum to grab an extra base. Parker Caracy on to pitch for Ole Miss. The junior from Jackson inherits some mess here in the bottom, or excuse me, the top of the seventh inning, making his 17th appearance of the year. 32 strikeouts, 10 walks this season. Caracy bases loaded, nobody out. It's lined into center field, a base hit for Tanner Allen. Marshall Gilbert comes around to score. Mangum comes around to score without a throw, and Mississippi State has played at four to take a 6-4 lead in the top of the seventh, still with nobody out. Certainly they've done that this inning. This ball lined to left, and that's going to turn out to be a big play. Westberg comes around to score. So does Foscue. Mississippi State has scored now five in the inning. This ball lifted to right. Will it stay fair? Yes. Falls in in the right field corner. Thomas Dillard going to try to score all the way from first. The throw to the plate in plenty of time. Dillard is out. What a play by Mississippi State. Junior from Houston, Texas. Tyler will come in and 
try to serve a little bit better than his counterparts, Austin Miller and Parker Caracy did. 16 appearances, which is second most on the team for the Rebel bullpen. He's got two more hits in this ball game, including an RBI double in the seventh inning. So three, four, six on the weekend. He grounds it to short. Kessinger throws from his rear end. One hop to first in time to get the out. What a play. Caleb Hill, the freshman from Pine Bluff, Arkansas, comes into the game. Hill is making his 10th appearance of the season. Came back to tie it up and send it to extra innings against Ole Miss. This ball grounded left side. Goes to second for the lead. The first in time for the double play. Five to four to three. For a moment, looked like Gilbert might just throw to first to be sure of the out. He's able to get Kessinger at second. They roll it up in the middle, and Mississippi State wins the series. It's their fourth SEC Road Series win this year. 